<laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Muckle Extremes. I'm your charming, self-proclaimed, yet still humble host, Muckle Like, and today we're coming back at you with more turn-based goodness, continuing off in Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunters, which is a very short title. <clears throat> Hello, Noxy. PG Snow, thank you for the resub, buddy. We played this for uh, three hours this morning, and I am very much don't enjoying know this. About the clams. Uh, I might be done with uh, playing Vampire Survivors on stream Shut with up, how like off. pixelated and stuff it gets. For anyone who hasn't seen it, when I stream Vampire Survivors, like, and I get to like 25, 30 minutes in, it becomes like for like 240p. <laughs> like, it looks fine on my side. But the stream is majorly losing bitrate. Uh, but yeah, I, I've cleared most of the content that you can clear without um, playing the secret characters. Which, I looked at the secret characters on the wiki. Those are just cheat codes. They're just cheat codes. No Noxie has been playing with cheat codes all day today. She's like, hey, look, if I get a Laurel and 100% cooldown reduction, I'm a, I'm permanently invulnerable. The Grim Reaper's been hitting me for 54 minutes. It's fine. And I'm like, and, and this seems fair to you. Okay. All right. So we are at the finale of this level. I've got these four people named after people in chat. We got Aura, Daka, Shypage, and Jack. And uh, we're about to kick down this door. Knock knock! Black dogs of the false emperor! Oh my god. What? Okay, as soon as I start that, they get reinforcements. Are you seriously? Ever heard of a crying apple? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I have. Alright, um, how do I want to do this? I kind of actually wish I had Oral here for this. Uh, cause or uh, or Errol. Oral? Errol could just flamethrower through all these guys. And I don't have enough AP, or sorry, willpower for teleport strike. We don't have enough willpower for really healing stuff either. Uh, actually, Scattershot might do the trick. Moving now. As knock knock. Command. Woo! Blessed All right. Ammunition depleted. Blessed ammunition depleted. As okay. So he's out of juice. And we have to get that guy at some point. So they got reinforcements coming from over here. There's this mess here. Little dude and this guy. Does anyone have grenades left? No, nobody does. Because I used them all. I'm a dummy. Psychic blast. Oh, this is the thing that like taunts. And I, I don't know if that works on that guy. All right. Take this dude out. Okay. Um. What is your will? What is your will? Wait, I thought. Oh shoot! I thought he still had more AP after that. Dang it! That's not great. left is Daka. Daka, Daka, Daka. It Teleport. Is 
Um, disable ranged weapon. I just cut that man's arm off. Chat, we disarmed him. <laughs> Dad jokes. Oh god, he punched me. Yo, this is. <laughs> it's like the tis a flesh wound guy. <laughs> he just punches me and walks away. Man. Punched you with his stump? No, his other arm. He had a spare, Jackals. God blessed him with a spare. Oh god! That's not good. Please don't have another attack. Please don't have another attack. Alright, so here comes the reinforcements now. Uh, Alright. So, Jacques still has the servo skull from the beginning of this match. We're gonna use that now. Go get him! Beep boop! Feel better. Gratitude. Gratitude. Okay. Um, how are we doing Standing this? Ready. You command. Firing on target. I am will. The phone bleeds. I actually forgot about that guy because I was focused on this. Um, should I focus on him? Mm. Face me! Blessed hollow arms! Let's just tunnel this guy and hope that's the right call. Fall. We bring. Again. I strike true. And the last shot in the clip. Commander, all designated targets are destroyed. Teleportation initiating. Oh, is there a countdown or do I get out right now? Oh snap! Dude, why is it on some levels they're like, oh yeah, teleport initiating, survive for another two turns of Aerolos and dying. But this time, that one was, it was just instant. Okay, that was the right call to make. That was the right call to make. Look at those beautiful people. All right, nice. We got seeds, we got those things, a grimoire, minus corruption. Level three purgator. I have four purgators, I don't need that. Jeric Solus. That is the gun. Um. Warp Scourge, plus two armor, plus one max willpower. Does not increase Warp Surge when using psychic abilities. Oh, snap! That's pretty sweet. I don't know that this actually is much better. I'll do that. All right. Any promotion? Oh, they all got promotions. I was like, any promotions? Yeah, everyone. All right, who is this? This is Aura, this is the tank. Um, 
I think it's less an area. Knight gains plus one use a turn for their auto abilities. I think the auto ability is uh, Overwatch. All right, so uh, this is cool. Activate to make this ability afflict crazed. Afflicted targets will randomly attack their allies. Okay. All right, Daka. This is the guy that has the sword. Teleport strike, teleport boost. Uh... Teleport boost. When this knight uses a teleport ability, they have a 50% chance to gain an action point. Like he, he needs some willpower, too. Plus two willpower. Uh, pretty much all my people were out of willpower by the end of that. Oh, yeah, he's got three AP. All right, do that then. All right. Auto abilities are any action that your units do that you do not control. That you do not control? The only thing I can think of is Overwatch. Uh, all right, Shypage. This was our person who was sort of going to be a sniper. Astral aim. Shoot target for turning for damage precision targeting. I don't know if I ever used astral aim. Activate to give this ability armor pierce no stun. Silencer gains plus four range. So this guy is our would-be sniper. All right, Jack. Uh, hello, furries. How you doing? Welcome. All right, so Jack is our healer mostly. Um, do you have a target one AP when you heal them? The knight has an extra war gear slot to servo skulls. Pretty nice, okay. Um, let's take a look at everything. So research is still going, engineering is still going, everyone is still healing. Let's take a look at the barracks. So Jack has another slot. Wait, what is this? Plus two, oh no, that's actually not what I wanna do at all. Servo skulls. Wait, I am confused. How do I do this? There's a servo skull slot there. Ah. Wait, in another slot. What? I would, the whole reason I did this was to try to have, okay, I may have misunderstood how this works. My original thought was if I got another slot, this person could have two servo skulls and that would be more healing. Um, I think now that it does open up a new inventory slot, but perhaps you cannot have two of the same thing. So the skull would go there and then the war gear slot I can't have another skull there, but I could do something else there. I could put uh, the Sacred Incense, which is more willpower, or I could put a grenade there, which of course is a grenade. Um, 
If you have two different skulls, you might be able to have two. Maybe, but I guess at this moment, I don't have two different skulls. So, more willpower is effectively more heals. So, you know, I might just stay on that for now. Uh, what was the armor I gave you? Plus two armor, plus two willpower. Willpower is used for active abilities. Um, or I could give it plus one willpower and does not increase warp surge when using psychic skills. Got a couple of good choices there. All right. Can... Can he do the melee heal? Okay, I think you... the. Uh, I think the Apothecary has to have the Narthesium to do the, the melee heal. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Got it. Um... Yeah, we've got one, two, three, four Purgators. We just got a new Apothecary, so... If there's ever a time when Jack is injured, we can send in new person. We've only got one Interceptor. We've got at least two of everybody except Interceptors. Daka is the only Interceptor. All right. So at this point, I think we just need to pass some time. Commander, I have disturbing news. The ranking engine Seer in the Manufactorum was caught accessing restricted Grey Knight archives. This is surely the work of our enemy. Denial. Corruption scans return negative, and interrogation has extracted no relevant data. Access transgression likely made an error. Nurgle's serpents are devious. He should be purged along with any of his closest... Oh my god! Alternative. Demotion and access restriction. Manufacturum personnel is already limited. Yo! This engineer might have clicked on the wrong file in File Explorer, and our boss is like, we should kill him and all his closest friends. Holy crap! Uh, purge the engine seer. Your current construction process will be canceled. Convert him to a servitor. That's just like a floating skull. Current construction project is canceled. Inquisitor Vakir should interrogate him. Vakir will be unavailable for some time. Or demote the engineer. Because... So, well, no, I don't want the project canceled. That, that, would, that would be a massive setback. So honestly, I'm really I'm just looking at interrogate or demo. Demo would probably make the Grey Knight unhappy and the engineer happy, and I got to say I value my engineer more right now. Yo, is my camera lacking in this screen? Hold on, let me tab out. Okay. We're fine. I guess just something about that scene. All right, I'm going to click demo. Come on. This is an unnecessary risk. Denial. The engine seer's data access will be permanently restricted. Lunette perceptive plus 100% construction speed for 30 days, but Ector minus 50% XP growth rate for 30 days. Is that like all my troops? Ugh. Well, at least we're building fast, I guess. I was right. We, we we I made the one unhappy and the one happy. I was right on, on the on that. Research project complete. I've been studying Astarte's physiology. I don't pretend to be an apothecary, but I know the difference between a Betcher's gland and a neuroglottis. It is enough that if I concentrate, I should be able to stimulate your knight's natural regenerative functions to operate within a much shorter time scale. So I, okay, so if I understand this right, chat, once per mission. Um, we can use this power to have a have a a night fully healed. Your camera was doing the same thing this morning when you were on a mission. I thought it was my bad internet. No, it's probably the the game just eating up too many resources. All right. So let's see. So we got that. I've got three of the Poxus seeds. 
Uh, all visible enemies are immobilized. All knights teleport to a location. All knights gain crit. That takes five seeds. This takes one. Um, missions give plus one seed and an extractor servo skull. And this only takes one seed. All right, I like this one. What is this thing? Oh, that's pretty good, too. Okay, so this costs nothing. The Edict is a remarkable vessel indeed to house its own Prognosticar choir. I don't even know what that is. However, I believe that your Prognosticar's potential has been underused and that their predictions could be honed into an effective purgative against the Bloom. It won't be enough to turn the tide, but it may hold back this foul contagion until we find a way to destroy it. Minus two corruption in system. So the systems get corrupted more slowly. If this is so, okay, if this is kind of like XCOM, in XCOM, if you failed to respond to a country that was under attack enough times, that country was lost. Like, you, like, you know, let's say every continent had five hit points and every time it got hit, it lost health. If it hits zero, it was gone. So I'm guessing those systems, if their corruption gets too high, like we, we've lost them. So I think I'm gonna go for this. Also, it costs nothing to do this research. All right, augmentation chamber will be done in three days. All right, ship project complete, augmentation chamber two. I've had my Lex, Man Lex mechanics, I almost said maniacs, fashion a lathe to sharpen more neural lobotomizing spurs, which will vastly increase our servitor conversion capability. One reminded me that was this was dangerously close to adaptation and I should be charged with heretic tendencies. He will be the first to test the new spurs. What? Someone called you, oh my gosh. Someone was like, hey boss, I think you're breaking the rules. And he's like, you get a lobotomy. <laughs> Yo, what the heck? Uh, hold on, tabbing out to look at the redeems for just a second here. Uh, da, 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 and da. Okay, let's see. What is this? Wizard Dennis. Sure, we can do that for uh, for two minutes. Okay. Start new project. All right, so we've got six servitors. Um, can I start? Knee, okay. I would love to get regen unit. Are the wait, are these in order? Do I have to go that, then that, then that? Or can I just go straight to regen unit? Cause you see these here and here have little blue arrows between them? These don't. And if that's the case, I'll just wait till I get two more servitors and get the regen unit so the troops heal faster. All right, all right, all right, all right. Bloom spawn detected. Our prognostic requires detected the presence of three new eruptions of bloom activity across the sector. We've informed Titan and must act on these new incursions to the best of our abilities. All right, that one is it. Three nasty, that's at one nasty, that's at three nasty. Okay. So this one. Uh seek and destroy, kill eight enemies with melee weapons, you get a requisition. This one. Finish mission before you take 25 damage, seek and destroy, get 15 servitors. I'm not confident I can do that. I am confident. I can do that. Put, 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 put. Research project complete, psychic attunement. Nice. Uh, I have merged your collections with the volumes from my ship. It will form a repository of knowledge unrivaled in this sector. Already the Union has paid dividends. I've instructed your prognosticars in a novel method to frustrate the Bloom's advance, predicting its most probable vectors and transmitting the data anonymously to authorities on the ground. Minus two corruption in systems. Start new research. Uh, you might want to equip your new heal. Um, let me see. Do I do that here? Okay, there we go. I like how it's like a trading card, but it's it's not a still image, right? It, it's like a, a GIF, you know, it's moving. 
Uh, okay, what do we got? Um, plus one stratagem slot. Minus 5% warp surge a turn. That, <laughs> that would be big. Plus one willpower on warp surges. That would also be really big. All right. Getting willpower back, which lets me do more... Because, like, for example, in the last mission we did, uh, Jack ran out of willpower and was not able to heal anymore. While it would not be a lot, this would be a little bit more. The tides of the warp swell and heave before surging forth in a burst of roiling energy. Let us make use of the prognosticars to anticipate their flows and allow your brothers to exploit their psychic talents to maximum effect. It'll take a while to research that, but... Um, also, we are at eight servitors. We just got some. So we're going to go here, and I'm going to get regeneration unit. The, uh, it is lamentable a lamentable fact that organic bodies, even Grey Knights, require extensive recovery time when damaged. The regeneration unit was the heart of the Apothecarian. Restoring it should curb the, prolific, the profligate time allocation. Let's do it. That would make me... That, that would basically mean that much more often I would be able to use my best troops in a fight. Um, okay. So, so you can destroy the, the bloom spawn. Kill eight enemies with melee weapons if possible. All right, um, danger level high, by the way. I didn't see that. This will be the first time I've done one that says danger level high. A little nervous. You know what? Hang on a sec, hang on. Let's do a little something <laughs> called saving the game. Let's do a little something something. We're not playing on Iron Man. I'm new here. Let's do a little thing. Um, I will accept this. Efficient How exercise. Are we doing today, Mark? I'm doing good, Scout Man. How are you? Muckle Douglas, but that'll be original desk by the fourth. This is Johnson Festival's third. Welcome to UPG Snow, Shan Crocs, and Scout Man to the lab. Hope you enjoy our same entertainments on the way. Crank with the speakers. Don't touch the speakers. Give away every week. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. Mm. Just a minute, friends. It is getting way too hot in my office. I'm going to adjust the thermostat. I'll be right back. Okay, we back, we back, we back. <sighs> Any last words? Uh, Farvin, you can. Okay, kill eight enemies with melee weapons or be punished. It's kind of a funny th thing. It's like before you go out, you're like, hey, I'm gonna kill eight of them with my fist. And your boss is like, ha, you're on. You know what? If you do it, I'll give you two more requisitions. And you're like, ah, you know I will. And he's like, ha bet. And you're like, what? Like, we're at war. And he's like, yeah, no, I'll, I will punish you if you don't do it. Like, like it's kind of a funny concept that, that, you get, that you get punished if you don't pull it off. Like, okay, here, I, I, quick, quick thought here. I'm not the biggest sports fan. I do enjoy watching people that are really, really good at whatever they do, okay? That includes a little bit of basketball players, like Michael Jordan, and uh, right now I'm thinking of Larry Bird. Larry Bird had so many times that he would talk trash to people, and he would go out there and he'll, he would be like, I'm gonna dribble under your left arm, go around you, run a circle around you, and then I'm gonna make a three-pointer. And they'd be like, what? And then he would freaking do it. Like, right in front of him. He would just do it. And, <laughs> and I'm thinking of that with this stuff. Alright, what do we got? Oh, wow, this is the first mission in ages where Aura is actually full health. Okay, 